People think being the son of an NBA star must be easy. Ladies and gentlemen, Dennis Rodman. Your father being in the Hall of Fame, everything must be given to you on a silver platter. Your dad being Dennis Rodman, you must be in the spotlight. Everything isn't what it seems. This is my story. It was actually in third grade. I remember I finally figured out who my dad was. I realized that he was a basketball player. I was like, I want to follow him. Everyone expects me to be 6 a be a rebounder, be a defender, be a hustle guy. Just everything that described my dad, which I don't want to be. I want to do the things that he was great at and do them as great or better than him, which is a hard thing to do, but I think I can do it. The way that I view my dad as a father would be somewhat not a, such a good father. He's not around at all. He doesn't really coach me that much. So I would say that's not really the ideal lifestyle or like the lifestyle that everyone thinks that I have, but he helps us live. I just got done with practice, about at the mall. Kevin's gonna go meet us. Now it's time to just chill and relax. Yeah, we're at the mall. We out here in this GA help. About to go chill, get something to eat. Competitions I've won. Shut up. Who does eating competitions daily? I do. <laughs> You're such a bum, bro. I've like. What? Have you done one? What? Have you done no, one? No, I don't. So I don't eat. talk. All right, we're about to have the eating competition. Honestly, I think I'm gonna win. He's about to get last. I'm gonna yeah, get Justin, first. Go, you're last. Sorry, Justin. <laughs> he won, he lost. I threw twenty dollars on a burger that that lasted two seconds. In ninth grade, I made varsity well, at CDM, just north from here, and I literally did not talk to one person on that team. You know what I get a lot? Everyone says I look like Michael Phelps. Is it true? <laughs> no. Then going into my junior year, I transferred here which really was a different vibe from, you know, Newport Beach, a bunch of like rich people who really didn't like me as myself as a person, but mostly as a name. Bro, you look at David Beckham. Jaden Beckham. No, David, David, David Beckham. But here I'm mostly known as nice, genuine, happy kid. And that's what I want to be known as, not just DJ Rodman, Dennis Jr. Yeah, we had fun at the mall today, had our eating contest, Kevin won. We got a big game tomorrow, we gotta get this rest, let's get that dub. The 2-3 zone, just light walk through, tap side, tap side, tap side, here we go. Tonight is a huge night. Tonight is the rivalry game between us and Santa Margarita. We didn't beat them last year, we got shot out last year. I think we prepared enough to win this game. Space, good. I think we're gonna win tonight. Vels, right here, right here. We gotta move the ball tonight. Move the ball, play as a team, right? And just take care of business. <coughs> it's a big game, right? You all know that, but it's just another game. Okay, so we just gotta come out together, be together tonight. Don't ever get complacent. Play so hard that you need a sub for 30 seconds. You'll go right back in. We'll pray it up real quick and then we'll go eat, all right? Ready, one, two, three, Seven. four, five, six. Seven. Let's go eat, let's go eat. This is obviously a rivalry game. We're gonna do the best that we can. They got a USCLA commit and a USC commit, Jake Hyman and Max Ambacolo. But we're not really intimidated by that. The coach's plan was to shut down Jake and Max, but first two minutes. Jake had the first seven points. It was seven to zero. Coach called a timeout. And then after that, we started actually playing our game. Slowly came back. SM came out strong, and then, you know, Jay Sarah, they were just starting slow, but then they started coming back, and uh, now they're back in the game. We had 
some people step up. We had Justin step up. A few big plays by Ian. He dunked on a kid. And that really had the crowd going. That really demoralized their team, I could tell. But we got a little sloppy and we turned the ball over and Max had an easy dunk at the end of the half. I think what gave Jay Sierra more momentum to get back in the game is Ian Martinez's dunk. Martinez, filthy dunk, bro. Best poster ever. In the third quarter, we finally were getting it going. We finally figured out what we are going to do. I started to get going with a few mid-ranges. DJ Rodman just hit a big shot to tie the game up 42-42 going into the fourth. We got a few easy layups. We got, we got whatever we wanted in the fourth. We're obviously trying to milk the clock out. It was probably the most exciting and happy ending to a game I've ever been a part of because everyone was just so happy that we won. This year really meant a lot because obviously it's my senior year and this is my last time playing them, having a rivalry game. It was really emotional at the end when everyone was coming up, hugging everyone on the team. What really made my night was when a few kids came up to me and were like, hey, can we, can we take a picture with you? That was the best part of the night. Cool. You guys have seen my last 24 hours. You guys have seen what it's like to be in my shoes. I'm just like everyone else. Being the son of the NBA star doesn't mean that I'm special. I'm me. I, I wanna, I'm going to do what I'm going to do. Take shots all the time, man. So it's me signing out. Peace. What up, guys? It's Overtime Larry. You know I'm smooth, right? It's that game day vibe. We got more game day videos right here. And you got to click subscribe. You haven't clicked subscribe yet? You serious? What you doing? You on your couch looking at me. Click subscribe already.